hello everyone welcome to my youtube channel my name is precious if this is your first time of coming across my videos please kindly subscribe all right so in this video we'll quickly look at the concept of uh, permutations and combinations all right and so what is permutation permutation simply talks about arrangement that means the number of ways different ways that we can arrange a certain number of things that we have okay why combination talks about selection you know the number of different selections that we can have from that number of things we are given uh, so we need an example to uh, emphasize this for instance you have this number of letters p q r and so someone is asking in how many different ways can we arrange these letters so i can actually have another arrangement say q p r so you can see that this is a different arrangement from this. However, when we talk about selections, are they now different? So you see that this contains exactly the same selected alphabet. You selected P, Q, and R, and if you come here, you still have the same. So in other words, we can say that in this, in what we have here, we have uh, two permutations, and then we have only one combination because there are two different arrangements while here we have the same combination of alphabets so that means they are just the same thing it's just like uh, uh, the concept of sets and vectors which we have also mentioned in this uh, channel you would need to look at it for instance if you have a set where you have uh, elements say one two two three now uh, let me remove this so let's assume we have one, two, three, and then you now have another set, three, one, two. So we always say that these two are equal. So because you just have the same, exactly the same element. So that is, uh, me, that means that set looks like combination. Now, but when it comes to vectors, if you have vectors this way, one, two, three, this is not equal to three, one, two because they have different dimensions okay sorry they have different uh, values in different components so you see that uh, that's exactly what we this is talking about all right so the implication is that under permutation the order of your items is important whereas in combination it doesn't really matter how you arrange them or the order of the arrangement okay so let's see an example with this now let's try to see if we can get all the possible arrangements and combinations that we can get here so i start with p and so i'm going to get the other one p and then i, I want to alternate this to r q okay and then here i already have q so i'll get the next q arrangement i will also turn this to r p so all the arrangement for q is over so i go to R, R now that's here now I'm starting with R and so I'll start with PQ and then the next one I'll have R and then QP I'm just alternating the second one so these are all the possible arrangements you can get from these three letters meaning that this is the permutation is equal to six so when it comes to combination you see that all these things are actually the same thing because we selected only three letters and the three letters have all repeated in all of them so the combination here is actually equal to one now another way we can see this is can we look at the number of uh, uh, combination arrangements of two letters from these three the number of two letters that we are going you're going to get from these three letters so let's begin with p so we have pq and then we can also have pr okay and after that we can go to q we can have qp and we can have qr then we go to r we can have rp and we can have rq okay so these are the three or the six arrangements so also in this case our permutation is also equal to six and what about the combination in this case so let's look at it pq is the same thing as qp so there is no difference we remove this then pr is the same thing as rp in combination is still the same selection of two letters so we take away this or if we take this then we remove this so either of the two 
and the same thing here if we take this then we we'll remove this because they are just the same so you have a total of three combinations here whereas here you had just one combination because we arrange just the same number of lm alphabets in all of the arrangements so that's what permutation and combination is all about the arrangement is important under permutation that's the order whereas under combination the order doesn't matter we're only interested in the elements or the alphabets that you have picked or you have selected so you don't repeat any in no matter the order so it is still the same thing all right so now the question is how can i you know determine the number of uh, arrangements i'm going to get even without having to do the arrangements because it is possible you can get to a point where the number of arrangements will be too many and so how do you handle such okay so there is a formula that will always help us to find our permutation and the combination and it is written this way so if we want to arrange for example two items out of three so we are going to write it this way p sorry three permutation two so you are permuting two things out of three you are arranging two things out of three so let's use an arbitrary number now so if we want to arrange r things out of n you are giving n number of items and you want to arrange r out of that n so what is your formula so we say that it is simply equal to n factorial all over n minus r factorial and you remember we have talked about factorials you can also see the video on that to see how that works okay so this is a formula for permutation and what of combination how can i combine r things out of uh, n so this is equal to n factorial all over n minus r factorial then multiplied by r factorial okay so that's the, the these are the two formulas that we have for combination and for permutation and we can quickly use the two of them to check what we have done here look at this one we in this case we arrange three out of three we are giving three letters and we are arranging the three out of three so if we want to do the permutation is going to be three uh, permutation three and that's going to give us three factorial all over three minus three in this case your n is three and your r is also three so that's going to give you three factorial which is three times two times one and then that's all over zero factorial and you remember in that video i said that zero factorial is equal to one and so if you multiply out this you have six all over one and that is equal to six which is exactly what we got here and then if you do the same for combination you are going to have that you combine three things out of three and that is equal to three factorial from this formula here our n is three all over n minus r which is three minus three and that is zero factorial then multiply by r factorial and our r here is three factorial and of course you are going to see that this factorial will cancel this so you have one all over one and this will give us one all over zero factorial is one times one is one and one all over one is equal to one and that's exactly what we have here so that's uh, the formula for calculating our uh, permutation and combination in any given question and so let's look at some examples now now look at these quick examples here this uh, asking us to evaluate the following if you are giving five permutation two so for the first one we have five permutation two and this is equal to uh, five factorial which is our n all over five minus two factorial and so in this case you are going to have five factorial all over two minus uh, sorry five minus two is equal to three and that's going to give us of course you remember what we did here we can reduce this to 5 times 4 times 3 factorial because the denominator has 3 factorial and we can easily cancel that so this will take away this and so what we have here is equal to 20 so in our second example we have 7 permutation 6 
and it is important we note that another way you can write this is actually p into the bracket of 7 comma 6 that's another way of writing this so the implication is that i can actually write this as p into the bracket of n minus r and i can also write this as c into the bracket of n minus r so they all mean the same representation okay so if we continue here we are going to have seven factorial all over seven minus six which is one factorial and one factorial is one so this is equal to seven factorial if you expand it which is seven times six times five times four down to one and that will give you the solution there and so what about the next example example c which I will allow you to do. This is another fact, uh, permutation. So let's quickly go to D. So D says that we should find 6 combination 4. And so like I said, this is equal to 6 factorial all over 6 minus 4 factorial, which is 2, then multiply by R. And our R here is 4, R factorial. And then when we do that, we are going to have that in this case, I am going to expand 2, but I will leave 4 because I'm going to reduce this to 6 times 5 times 4 factorial. And then this is all over 2 times 1, which is 2 factorial, then times 4 factorial. And of course, this will take away this. And 2 here is 1. 2 here is 3. So 3 times 5 is going to give us 15 as our solution there. Okay, so I am going to now also look at example E, and I will also allow you to take example F. All right, so for the example E here, you recall that I said here that um, there's two combination 3 comma 2. Now, please note that whenever you have this, I think I've stated that if you have C combination 3, or let me not use 3 now. Let me use n comma r. That this is actually the same thing as n combination r. So we can actually write this this way. So this is the same thing as 2 multiplied by 3 combination 2. Okay, so we'll try to simplify that. So this is 2 times uh, 3 combination 2 is 3 factorial all over... Uh, here we'll have, remember our formula R factorial, which is 2, then N minus R, which is 3 minus 2, and that is 1 factorial. So, and this is going to give us 2 multiplied by, um, of course, 3 factorial is 3 times 2 times 1, all over 2 factorial is 2 times 1, and then 1 factorial is 1. So from here, this 2 will take away this 2. So the solution to this is actually 6. That's the multiplication of this. All right, and I will allow you to take this. Of course, recall that P uh, uh, 2 comma 2 is actually 2 permutation 2. So you take care of that and then multiply by 4. And that's where we're going to end it for this video. In the next part of this topic, we are going to see how to solve... Uh, some uh, permutation and combination problems that involve sentences, that is words, and how to interpret them into permutation and which one is combination and then other forms of examples. Please kindly subscribe to our YouTube channel and we'll see you in our next video. Bye.